Hi, I'm Jane Close Connolly, president of Cal State Long Beach, and I'm here with another One Beach message. This time, I want to talk to you about politics in the workplace, and I've invited a few other university leaders to help me. We are fortunate to have many members of our campus community who are informed and passionate about issues that are important to all of us. Just as our backgrounds and our identities are diverse, we know that there are probably just as many views among us on issues of local, national, and global importance. Some of these differences run deep, and during election seasons, these can bubble up in ways that can be concerning. Please know this university stands for and depends on the freedom of expression, the right to peacefully assemble, and the ability to challenge those in power. There are some types of speech, however, that are neither promoted nor allowed on campus. Hi, I'm Maitel Derete Gonzalez, ASI Vice President and Chair of the Board of Directors. Here at the beach, we support creative, thoughtful, and respectful discourse, where conflicting perspectives are vigorously debated and thoroughly discussed. This university is dedicated to affording all members of the campus community the protections for free speech, expression, assembly, religion, and press available under the U.S. and California constitutions, and all applicable federal and state laws. This is done in accordance with the university's purpose and function, except where certain limitations are necessary so that teaching, learning, and researching and working can take place. Hello, I'm Praveen Soni, Professor of Marketing in the College of Business here at Cal State Long Beach. CSU campuses are free speech zones. Differing viewpoints and unconventional thoughts aren't just permitted, they are encouraged. However, the university balances free speech requirements with civility, respect, and tolerance of diverse beliefs and their expressions. While universities are a marketplace of ideas, to balance First Amendment rights with the needs of the educational environment, time, place, and manner restrictions on expressions and activities are enacted. Hello, I'm Scott Appel, Vice President of Administration and Finance, and here are some examples of kinds of expressions that should not be used. Speech that promotes and incites imminent violence or harm, fighting words, true threats, defamation, or in other words, libel or slander, obscenity, harassment, false advertising, and the use of public resources to promote partisan politics in election campaigns is strictly forbidden. State resources are implicated whenever any state property or asset is used in an election campaign. This includes land, facilities, equipment, supplies, phones, computers, email, vehicles, employee time, and funds. Hello. I'm Min Yao, Vice President and Chief Information Officer. If your Cal State University employee, your speech is protected as long as you're speaking as a private citizen on matters of public concern. That includes matters of political, social, and other matters of concern to the public or community. You can wear political buttons as a private expression of opinion. Posters may be allowed in private workspaces as long as they comply with time, place, and manner policies. And you can feel free to sign your name to petitions or letters that advocate political positions as long as you don't present yourself as a representative of the university. Hello, I am Malcolm Finney, Professor of Linguistics and Director of the Faculty Center. Faculty are fortunate to enjoy both free speech and academic freedom. And while the latter generally allows professors to exercise their professional judgment in teaching and researching, it is not unrestricted. It is especially important as we teach our diverse student body that we are cognizant of each student's personal and family experiences. Silencing or promoting students based on their place of origin, religion, political viewpoint, race, or identity is not what great professors do. Not every learning space is appropriate for political discussions, and professors must be mindful not to pitch partisan politics 
but rather to present evidence related to different political policies. As we move through the next weeks up to and beyond the election, I urge all of us to focus on similarities and points of commonality. I hope that faculty members will promote discussions among our students that illustrate shared human goals of peace, health, and prosperity for selves and loved ones. And I hope that all employees will think twice before labeling another person as less than, just on the basis of one sliver of that person's identity. For example, their preferred political candidates or particular views on an issue. As a campus community, we have unique opportunities to live, learn, and model the values we embrace. And election season, however contentious, is a good time to remind each other about those values. The freedoms we enjoy come with awesome responsibilities. As we hold firmly to our own values, we must respect the rights of others, be tolerant of most differences, and extend kindness whenever and wherever possible. That's what the One Beach Spirit is all about. That's who we are. Go Beach!